If you have custom flooring or delicate hardwood flooring, then you need to know how to care for it so its shine can last for years. Some homeowners decide to cover their hardwood with carpet, since hardwood is known to acquire stains, scratches and marks when not expertly maintained. And it takes a little bit of know-how to care for this kind of flooring before you call flooring experts for help. Your hardwood may already have a gloss finish that you can shine and buff for a clean and shiny floor. With a simple soft wrap, buff one area till it shines. If the gloss is wearing off, you may apply floor wax to bring back the shine. If you have a floor polisher, apply wax and then allow settling first on the flooring. Buff with a polisher after an hour. Follow up with a soft wrap or a soft cloth after you polish. For persistent stains, use a rag to remove. Concentrate on the area until the stain disappears. Then you may apply polish and then buff the area for a beautiful finish. For terrible dirt and stains, use ordinary soap and water and wash the area first with a soft cloth. Never use a brush since this will only scrape the wood. Make sure the area is completely dry after applying wax. Polish the area and then buff with a polisher or rag afterwards. You may reapply polish if needed especially when the area appears to be duller than the others. Sometimes no matter how you do, your hardwood floor needs desperate action. The more you walk on, move furniture and move on hardwood floors, wood eventually is sloughed off. The best way to do so is to ask a contractor to help you out. A flooring contractor will refinish and polish hardwood and will make it appear like new. It will be sanded down to reveal clean and beautiful wood layers beneath the tarnished one and then polished or finished with gloss or stain. An important part of maintaining your hardwood is to prevent stains and scratches from happening. This can be avoided with special rags and polishes to protect hardwood floors. Family members may be asked to wear special footwear or go barefoot instead. You may also ask visitors to leave their footwear in a special container and wear soft slippers to save your floors.